Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you how to design a knife in AutoCAD. So let's get started. So for the first step, let's draw a line uh, with a length of 190.85 and enter. Okay, now let's use the Sakai command and we are going to use the track command which is uh, TK. So type TK enter and click on this point, move the mouse to the right and type temp y 5 enter and move the mouse down direction and type 9 enter and enter again and type 7 for the radius okay and let's use the line command again and type tk enter and click on this point move the mouse to the left and let's type 12.7 and enter and move the mouse down and let's type 26.5 enter okay now we are going to type 22.5 shift less than 23 degree enter now let's use the circle command which is 10 10 radius and click on this line and click on this circle and type 44 for the radius and now let's use the same command uh, we need to assess from here Click on this line and this axe and type daddy enter. Okay, now we need to extend this line. So let's use the trim command. Press shift and extend this line. And let's trim the unnecessary curve and line. Okay, that's enough. And let's use the line command again. And type TK enter and click on this endpoint and move the mouse to the left and let's type 39.74 and enter and move the mouse down direction and let's type 29.69 enter and enter again now let's type 46.32 shift less than And 169 degree enter okay now let's use the filler command okay we need to change the radius first the radius will be 50 millimeter and select this two line okay now let's use the point command PO enter and TK enter click on this end point and let's try 60.4 enter and now type 17 enter and enter again okay we got the point now let's use the ask command which is start and radius click on this end point and this end point and let's type 110 for the radius okay and now let's use the line command again type tk enter and move the mouse in the downward direction and let's type 23.47 enter and move the mouse to the right and type 139.9 enter and enter again now let's type 18 less than 64 degree and enter again now let's use the cycle command again and type tk enter for the tracking point and click on this point and let's type 2.98 in this direction and let's type 21.7 in this direction and enter again and type 23 for the radius and enter and now let's go to the parametric tab and use the tangent constraint because this circuit and this line must be contact each other so first step select this line and select this circle okay now let's use the trim extend command and select this line and press shift and trim this spot okay and as you can see i have created another arc at this session by using freehand technique uh, i just don't use any dimension to create now let's use the trim command to trim the unnecessary curve uh, which is this one and this curve And delete this point, we don't need it anymore. And now let's use the filler command and let's change the filler radius to 0 
uh, two or three you can use any filler radius you want and fill out this corner too now let's use the supplying command and let's start from here you can use the free end technique to create this curve and click here for the last point and you can adjust this supply if you want to and now let's use the line command again click on this end point and create a vertical line with the dimensions of 5.5 millimeter and use the line command again click on this end point and create a vertical line up to this line and hit the enter again okay let's go to the isometric view now we need to trim the uh, saga here now let's use the copy command to copy this and you can place it anywhere you want okay now select this two line and right click and choose a uh, high option now let's use the join command to join all these curve and hit enter now let's switch the workspace to 3d modeling and now let's change the visual style to shade of gray and let's use the stu command select this curve and hit enter and let's type 0 0.2 and enter again okay let's change the visual style back to wireframe and we need to copy uh, the curve which is this one and click on this space point and let's move it up to this midpoint and now let's use the line command click here and let's move it in the y direction and type 5.5 for its length okay now we need to create a vertical line uh, with a distance of 0 0.1 millimeter and click on this midpoint again okay now we need to delete uh, this two line we don't need it anymore now let's use the line command again click here and let's type 0.5 in the vertical direction and click here now let's use the join command to join all these three lines select this and this line and enter now uh, we need to copy this so let's use the copy command select this cross section and click on this space point and let's place it at the end of this curve right here okay now let's use the love command select this cross section and this cross section and enter and use the path and select this path okay uh, let's change the visual style to shade of gray now let's use the tree metal command select this object enter and use the x y plane for the metal plane and click on this midpoint and choose no okay now let's use the subtract command select this one enter and select this two object and enter okay we got the result that we want now we need to copy this 2d sketch again so use the copy tool and copy this and let's use the trim command and trim this part and this part okay now we need to join all these cross section for the handle and enter now let's use the stew command select this and let's extrude it about four millimeter okay now let's go to the front view and here we need to create a horizontal line uh, with a freehand technique so let's use the line command click on this end point okay now let's use the rotate command select this line and let's click on this end point again okay let's press shift and right click and choose end point and click here and let's type 36.5 degree 
Okay, now let's go to the perspective view. And now we need to extrude this line. So select it and extrude it. Now let's use the slice command. And select this 3D object. Enter and select surface option. And select this surface. Now delete this one. And let's delete this object. Okay, and delete this one. We don't need it anymore. Now use the fill edge command. Select radius and type 2 or 3 enter. And select this H and hit the enter again. Now let's change our vision style to shade of H and use the fill edge command again. Let's choose the radius about 2 mm and choose the chain option. Select this H and hit enter two times. Okay, now we need to uh, mail this. So let's use the 3 mail command. Select this and enter. And use the XY for the mail plane. And click on this point and choose no. Okay, I think I need to move this in the vertical direction about 0.1 millimeter. And again, we need to move this bottom one to the downward direction. Uh, 0.1 millimeter. Okay. Now select this two. And let's move it from this point to this 3D object. Click right here at the midpoint. Okay, so far so good. Now let's go to the top view. And here we need to create some socket for the screw. Let's click here and type 2.5 for the radius. And let's create another socket. You can use a free hand technique for this. I'm going to type 1.3 for it. Okay, now we need to copy this uh, inside circle. So let's use the copy command. And copy in the downward direction about 4 unit. And let's move this inside circle about 1 unit in the downward direction. Now let's use the stu command. Select this and extrude it up to 3 mm. Now let's use the love command. Select this small circle and select this big one and enter. Okay, now let's union this two. Okay, let's copy this. And let's copy up to right here. Now let's use the move command. Select this two object. And click on this space point and let's place it at the midpoint of this line. Okay, I think I need to change the visual style to wireframe. And we need to move this in the other direction. So select this and move it in the other direction about 0 0.4. I mean 4. Now select this object again and move it in the Z direction for 0 0.1 more. Okay, let's see the result by changing the visual style to shade of gray. Okay, that's look great. Now let's use the 3 mail command. Select this object and enter. Use this one for the mail play and click on this midpoint. And choose no. And once again, use the union command to union this all and enter. Now use the copy command, select this object and hit enter. Click on this space point and type 0, 0 to place exactly at this place. Now we got two body at this session. We are going to use one for the subtraction. So select one of this and let's uh, hide it. And now use the subtract command. Select this handle. And this one. Enter. And select this. And enter again. Okay. Now let's unhide those screw.
Now let's use the box command and uh, let's create a box edit session by using the freehand technique. But I'm going to uh, use the exact distance for the height, which is 0.65. And now select this and use the rotate command. Okay, press shift and right click and choose mid between two points. Click on this mid point. And we need to uh, click on this mid point and choose the copy option and type 90 degree for the angle. Okay, let's change the visual style to wireframe. Now let's use the union command. Select this two box and enter. Now we need to move this. Select this and enter. And again, press shift and choose mid between two point. And once again, choose center and click on here. Now let's use the copy command. Select this box and enter. And use the center for the base point. And place it right here. Okay, now we need to use the 3D metal command. Select this two box. And enter. And use x y plane for the metal plane. And click on this midpoint. Choose no. Now use the subtract command. Select this main body. And enter. And now select all these boss X. Okay, that's uh, look great. Now let's go to the render tab and click on material browser. Select this blade and right click on this aluminium. Choose assign to selection. Okay, let's change the visual style to real estate. Now select this handle and let's use this low glossy black and assign to it. Now let's hide this handle and select all these screw and use the same material. Okay. Now let's unhide it and close this. Now select this and right click select similar and click on edit in fusions. Okay. Now let's uh, rotate this. Now let's change the visual style. Click on this MBN and click on shadow and click on reflection. Okay, that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel and see you in the next tutorial.